Hey there, CPO here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove this front sway bar end link, the, uh, the upper uh, nut and bolt. So the bottom one is pretty trivial. It's basically a T55 uh, and an 18 millimeter. So um, not too challenging to get off, uh, but a lot of people seem to struggle with this upper uh, bolt, and in particular, on the trail, when I see people with TJs uh, who are not familiar with their Jeep yet, uh, trying to disconnect because somebody told them to disconnect, I see a lot of people trying to start and disconnect here, which is probably not gonna happen in the field. Uh, you know, the ideal way would be to disconnect down here and get this thing pushed up out of the way. But I do see a lot of people, that single bolt looks very enticing. Uh, so, but. Let me show you why it doesn't work on the field and why I have to do a tip because a lot of people struggle with this. So here, let's start. All right, so this is a 15 millimeter. I'm gonna go ahead and zip this off really quick. Okay. Now this is where people have the most trouble because you think once you get this uh, nut off that that thing should come come off. And uh, you know, there's the beat it with the hammer method, there's the put it in the vise, beat it with the hammer method, there's the put it in the vise, beat the side method, um, there's the uh, air chisel, uh, pickle fork, there's the Dremel cutoff tool, there's all kinds of ways to do this. But honestly, I think this is the easiest way to do it. Uh, and it's the, um, the least complicated, the painless uh, method. And this is a, uh, a ball joint removal tool and basically what you're going to do is just slide that in there um, and then just tighten this bolt and what that's going to do this sort of has like a pickle fork uh, sort of a deal in it where uh, it goes around that bolt uh, up in between the um, the bushing and the sway bar itself and then as you tighten this it's going to lever down and push that bolt down. Now this is a pressed part and I'll show you uh, when I get it out um, why we have to go through this process. So I'm just going to uh, tighten this down until that pops out. Now sometimes it will pop out with a little bit of force when it finally breaks free. It might be a little bit violent <laughs> like that. So be prepared for that. Um, don't want you to, to be surprised when that happens. That also means wear proper safety glasses and things like that. But let me show you why this is such a pain for a lot of people and that's because it's tapered so it's designed to be pressed into um, that uh, that hole there on the sway bar so when it's tightened down it's literally tapered and and press fit into place so yeah beating it with a hammer works uh, using a pickle fork works and all that stuff cutting it heating it um, I think you know the way I did it using that uh, ball joint uh, tool uh, works just as easy if not easier and with a lot less drama so that tool was like 20 bucks so uh once you have it it's kind of useful for a lot of things but anyway that's my tip on removing the uh sway bar in links from the front of your jeep tj wrangler so thanks for watching i'll catch you on the next one